This is an example of how to create a visual inheritance project for a Windows application in Visual Studio 2012. The first thing that we want to do is open a new project. When it comes back, we're going to create a Windows Forms application. And you notice this is the default location down here of where it's going to be created. And I'm going to rename this application Windows Visual Inheritance Demo. I'm going to make sure that I'm using Framework 4.5, that I'm going to use the default sort, that it's in Visual C Sharp, and I'll just say OK. Once that's done, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my application by going to its properties, right-clicking on the application and going to properties. I'm going to make sure that my first project in this solution is a class library because what I want to do is I want to make a base form first which will be the template from which I'm going to create all the other forms in my application. So this first project in the solution is going to be a class library. I'm going to go to my toolbox and I'm going to choose a button, draw a button on my form. I'm going to go down and choose a picture box, put that on my form. So in other words what I'm doing is I'm designing my base form so that it has the controls on it that I'm going to want on every one of my forms. So I'm going to put a text box on the form, maybe move my button over here. And now I'm going to set the property of the picture box. So I'll set the image property and I'll set that to a local resource and I'm going to import from some sample pictures that I already have on my computer. Choose that one and say OK. Then I'm going to go to the size mode property of the picture box and say stretch image so that I can just size the picture box and it gives me my entire picture and stretches it to the size of my picture box. In my button, I'm just going to go ahead and name that button. So I'll go to the properties window, name it BTN VI for visual inheritance and I'll go to my text box and just name it to TXTVI. While I'm in the properties window of a control, I want to decide if this control is going to be a control that will be able to be manipulated in any of the child applications that use this base form. And in order to do that, we go to the modifiers property. The modifiers property <coughs> pardon me, is all by default always set to private. And what that means is when the base form is compiled and we try to use this on a child form, we won't be able to modify that control. So I want to change that to protected if I want this text box to be able to be manipulated, moved around, have its property set in the child application. I'm going to leave my button and my picture box the way they are. In other words, I'm going to leave them so they won't be modifiable in the child application. I'm just going to put a caption on the button. 
And I'm also going to double click the button and put some coding in the button. I'm going to put a message box and just put a message in there. Hello there. I'm going to save my project. I'm going to build it. It's very important that you build your project to make sure you have no syntax errors or nothing that would keep it from compiling. And also you want to make sure that you just compile this so that when you reference this base form in your new application that it's all put together and compiled. So now what I'm going to do is create the client. This is going to be the application that uses this form. So I'm going to right click on the solution. I'm going to say add new project. Once again it's going to be a Windows Forms application and I'm going to call this Visual Inheritance Client. Notice also I'm just leaving it in the default directory here. I'm going to say OK. Because of the fact that I'm going to create new forms in this application from the base form, I'm going to get rid of this default form that comes with my new application. Make sure I choose the Visual Inheritance Client and not the base form. I'm going to get rid of that form. I'm also going to take my client, my new project, and I'm going to set that as the startup project. So now it's the project that's bold instead of my base project. I'm going to right click on my client, add a new item. I'm going to add from Windows Forms. The first thing that comes up is Inherited Form, which is what I want. And I'm going to give it a name of FRM Main because I want this to be the main form in my project. When I do that, since I chose Inherited Form, I get this dialog that says Inheritance Picker. And what I want to do there is I want to choose the base form that I just created. So I'll say OK. And what I get, if I take a look at this new form, Form Main, in Design Mode, I get this. It looks just like my base. You can see that if I click on a control that I designated as being private in the base project, I can't move it. I can't even look at its properties. But the text box, remember, we designated this as being protected, and so I can move it around. I can change its properties any way that I want. And it is completely modifiable. Now, when I build this application, I'm going to save it first and build it. I get a syntax error that says namespace form 1 could not be found. If I double click that, I see that in the program.cs of my client, where I deleted form 1, I now need to make that frm main. <coughs> now, if I run that, you see here's my main form. If I click the button, you can see that the code comes up from the base form. And I can put whatever I want. in the text box. So that's just a little quick tutorial on how to create visual inheritance base forms and main forms.